What music is that I hear? Something to try and make you feel at home. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing an update of Washington Dulles International Airport. Um, so the time frame for this update, well, there isn't really a time frame, but if you had to choose one it would probably be around from 2 to 3 p.m. Don't hold me down to that though because there are a lot of inconsistent flights for the time of day. So you can just go at it, say that there's no time frame really, so just, yeah. Um, there's not much else to say, we do have a couple new models, but apart from that, nothing's really new. Actually, there is something new, which I'll get onto very shortly, but now we're just going to get onto this plane. Here we have a United 777-200, he's just pulling into the hangar. Uh, he's just coming from Athens, now I know Athens isn't a real route. Be interesting to see, but this is a subscriber route uh, from Spotted Whippet. And next we have a UPS 763, he's just uh, waiting here for his flight out to Louisville later on today. And so this is what is new, now if you watched my last uh, update of Chicago O'Hare you would know that this was the American Airlines terminal, I kind of had to add an extra terminal because of course Chicago is a lot bigger than Dallas. But then I thought, you know what, just for this update I'm going to try this out. Now if you don't know, the reason why I haven't had Frontier and Air Canada in my updates recently is because I was actually missing one terminal um, and that is Terminal Z. So if you don't know, Terminal Z is that big terminal um, at the front of Dulles where you every passenger goes in and then they get the train to other um, other terminals. However, there are a couple airlines that do go from Terminal Z and they are Frontier and Air Canada. I do also have Porter, but I'll get to the reason why I have Porter here as well later. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd try it out. I mean, I do actually have the right number of gates at Terminal Z, so I'll go through that in a bit. So I'll go through all the planes first. So first up here we have a Frontier A320neo, he's about to head out to Denver. And then next we have a Frontier A320 in the Cardinals livery, he's ready for pushback and he's going to head out to Orlando. Then over here we kind of have our little Canadian area, so in the front of the two, if it's focused on now, yep there we go, that is an Air Canada Express CRG 900. Now a little thing about Air Canada is um, I'm kind of waiting for Gemini Jets to release a um, ERJ 175 in the new livery because Air Canada are going to start flying the ERJ 175 to Dulles which is very exciting because we've just had the CRJ 200 and also getting an ERJ 175 is going to be killing two birds with one stone because uh, the ERJ 175 flies to Reagan as well so I can now have a realistic Air Canada aircraft in Dallas and Reagan at the same time. Uh, but he's going to be heading out to Toronto Pearson. And then in the back there, we have a Porto Q400 in the special livery. I do want to get a plain Porto Q400, but of course it's really rare. Um, I'm just hoping Gemini Jets will release another one, which is very unlikely because, you know, Gemini Jets don't really respond to planes that they need to need to have and they just get the ones that make them money. Um, but here we have a Porto Q400. He's going to be heading out to Toronto Billy Bishop. So the two, uh, the two Toronto airports these two are heading out to um, and Porter. The reason why I have Porter here is because in the real Dulles, Porter, well the Porter's gate is kind of thrown in with all of the international airlines because of course Porter technically is an international uh, airline but it's a very short route. So Porter are thrown in with all the A380s, A330s, 747s and to me having that on a model doesn't really look good. Like I mean if you look at some of my trip reports when I go to Dulles and I'm in I think the British Airways A380 one. Uh, video you can just see out looking out my window. There's the British shows a380 the Porta Q400 and then the Virgin Atlantic A330 It just looks so small crammed in and so having it into the international terminal Even though that would be realistic. I think it looks better and belongs better here I mean, you know, you've got Canadian. I don't know why they do this in the real Dallas Airport because to me it makes more sense having Porta at Terminal Z, but you know, they just don't don't think I guess but there, there must be a, a logical reason behind it if you actually know why it's there please do tell me because I, I just don't know it makes more sense to have it here 
And here's just ready for takeoff on runway one right. We have a United 752. Um, he's going to be heading out to Lisbon. Now, Lisbon is a summer schedule route, and summer schedule. The summer schedule has started at Dulles, so we get a ton of uh, 752s as well as, you know, we get a few more um, international routes um, like Barcelona, Lisbon, uh, a lot of them. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of, see, I need to build up my United Heavy fleet, especially for the summer, especially with the 752s as well. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of waiting because, of course, the United new livery, um, hopefully when they release a 752 in the new livery, I'm going to try and get a lot of them. Um, I'm aiming for around five 757s, just because that seems like a nice round number to end it on. And yeah, because I just do need a lot of them, because of course you've got all the European routes, and then you've got the domestic routes as well, like they fly to Los Angeles and San Francisco as well, so it just doesn't really end. And here, just holding short of runway one right, we have a United Express ERJ 170. He's going to be heading out to uh, Nashville. Just arrived in and taxiing to the gate now, we have an American Eagle CRJ 700. He's arrived in from Charlotte. Uh, no other place, American Eagle, that's the only American Eagle route from Dallas, so, you know, get used to it. And as well, just arrived in from uh, Detroit, here we have a Delta Connection CRJ200, as I said, he's just arrived in from Detroit. Now, I might actually be going on this flight due to, to Detroit from Dallas. Um, it's not confirmed yet, but hopefully um, that will be the case. It might be on Delta because I believe I'm, I'm going to have to fact check myself here. But um, I believe Delta have a flight to Detroit and also Delta Connection. So I'm going to have to fact check myself on that. It'll probably The answer will probably be on the screen now, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, it's going to be heading out to Detroit. No, it's coming from Detroit, sorry. And it's going to head back out to Detroit. Moving over to the United Express area now, we have a United Q200 heading out to Canadian North um, International Airport or Shea Maguire's Airport. Here we have a United Express ERJ 170. Um, he's going to be heading out to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson. Next here we have a United Express Q200. He's going to be heading out to Norfolk. Uh, fun fact about this flight is I've actually driven from the Dulles area to Norfolk. So I've actually driven this flight, if that makes sense. I actually made a video ages ago. It's probably one of my first videos I ever made. Uh, very bad editing, but if you want to see that, um, I might add it at the end of this video if you want to see that. Bear in mind it is very cringy, but you know, um, yeah, if you want to see that, you can go see that. And finally, here we have a United Express ERJ175 heading out to Lake Madison. And we are back in business with Air France now. We have the A380 has started uh, flights from Paris to Dulles again. Um, so here we have an Air France A380. Um, he's going to be heading out to Paris later on today. It's amazing to see this plane back because originally uh, there was speculation that it wouldn't come back for next year and they'd stick to 777s. Um, but I'm very happy to announce that the A380 is coming back. Unfortunately, British Airways, not the same story. The A380 is gone, sadly, but um, yeah. Speaking of British Airways, here we have a British Airways 777-200. He's just getting fueled up for flights out to London Heathrow later on today. Um, I'm very, also very happy to announce that, well, for me, it's happy. Maybe not to a lot of people, but it is happy for me. It's just very sentimental. Um, basically, British Airways have gone back to their old 2012 schedule. So if you don't know what this is, it basically means two flights a day. Well, we technically have a third one, but I'm, I'm ignoring the third one. It's not, it's not a third one every day, but I think there's, because it's, it's one of those weird ones where it's 16 weekly, so there's two, there's two days of the week where there's three, but I'm, I'm ignoring that flight for just this section. Uh, but basically, we get a 747, lands around 2 to 3 p.m., which is now, I don't have the 747, just because I wanted the 777-200 on this airport, um, because it's such a nice plane. Um, but yeah, so we get the, this should be a 747, but that lands around 2 to 3 p.m., it leaves around uh, 7, and then we get the uh, 777, sorry, that comes in at 10 and then leaves at about 11. Um, so it's very nice to see that because I would always, to maximize time in America, just by a few hours, I'd always get the 747 flight in, so I landed there as early as possible in the day, and then got the 777 flight out, 
So, um, so you know, I maximized that day, the last day. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's very nice to see that happening again because, you know, 777-200 and 747, they worked very well. Um, and it's just very nice because I, I just remember back to those days because British Airways have gone through a very complex time over the last years at Dallas. Uh, they started the A380, then took the A380 away, then had two 747s, then added a third 787, and then replaced them with all 787s, and then replaced one with a 747, then had the 777 back, and now finally they're back to the 747 and 777 combo, uh, plus the third, third, the two flights that come extra in a week but yeah um, yeah it's just very nice to see them back and then they'd obviously operate the 767 but that's going really old school now getting the 767 involved because of course they're retired now um, but yeah they used to I flew the 767 from Dulles back a few times um, that was always a fun time well I'm saying that sarcastically because I hated flying overnight flights on the 767 um, however, I did one on the United 767 to Sao Paulo uh, last year, and that wasn't actually as bad as I was expecting it to be. And with the next few planes, I've kind of, I've kind of recreated a scene at Dallas, which is very fun to me. But I'll, I'll get to that after a, after a bit of, after I've gone through the next couple of planes. Here we have an Avianca A321. He's just arrived in from San Salvador and he's going to overnight here because they overnight the A3. I don't think it's the A321, but this is obviously the. This is a custom model, by the way, because there's I can't find a model of a uh, Avianca uh, A320, A319, or A321 in the new livery. Uh, I can find Aero Classics do one of the old livery, I think, but obviously that's the old livery. Um, so yeah, it's a real hole in the 1 to 400 modeling community, I guess, because there is no Avianca kind of short haul aircraft. Um, if any of you can find one, that'd be great, but I've already got one. But yeah, they overnight the San Salvador flight to the morning and then it leaves early in the morning. I can't remember when, but yeah. And here we have a Southwest 737-700. Uh, he's just arrived in from uh, Las Vegas or MML Aviation and Moores Airport. It's not a real route, but the one thing I wanted to show you was this kind of combo here, these three planes, because if you remember to my uh, 747 business class British Airways video from uh, September, if you want to see that, that will be linked at the end as well. Um, but basically, I was in a 747 on the upper deck, and it was actually mirrored, so these two were the other side. But I remember seeing the Avianca, and then past that we had the Southwest. Now the Southwest was actually the, the Illinois 1 livery, um, so it was very nice to see that as well. And, you know, I was leaving, so it was quite sad. So it was nice to see that, and I was on business class, so of course it made it all the better. Um, but yeah, it's just a very typical Dulles sight to see these three planes all in a row. Um, yeah, and more good news. We have the Alitalia A330-200. Um, he's just getting cleaners on board, but Alitalia have now started routes to Dulles um, on their A330-200, five weekly to Rome. So yeah, this is going to be heading out to Rome later on today. And here we have a Delta MD-90. He's going to be heading out to Atlanta. And behind him, we have a Delta 737-800. He's going to be heading out to Minneapolis. Then here we have an Alaska 737-800 in the Salmon 30 Salmon livery. Um, he's going to be heading out to Seattle later on today. And here we have a new model. We have the Iceland Air 757-300 in the 100 Years of Independence livery. Um, so yeah, this is going to be heading out to uh, Reykjavik or Ava Ices Airport. Another new model, here we have the Lufthansa new livery, uh, A340-600. I'm very happy to have an A340-600 in the Lufthansa livery now, even though this one is a little bit Euro white, but you know, we'll move past that. Uh, this one is ready for pushback, and uh, he's going to be heading out to Frankfurt, or BA Aviation 777's airport. Now moving on to the American Airlines area, here we have an American A321, he's just getting the cleaners on board and um, he's he's just arrived in from uh, Los Angeles and he's going to be heading out to LA Oceanside or Gemini Jets NV's airport. And now I've decided that with this plane this is going to be the last time we're going to have this on an update. It's going to now join my United 747 in the... 
um, you know, retired kind of planes because it has stops now service to Dallas. So this is going to be the last time you'll see this on an airport update. But here, this is going to be heading out to uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Now this is actually a double subscribe route. Um, so it's going to be heading out to Red River Aviations Airport and Stone Yam on Aviations Airport. Now I do apologize for the next uh, United area having no GSE, I just can't really reach it at the moment because I've got the thing down and I've got things underneath it so I can't, I can't actually get to it. Um, but here we have a United 787-8, he's about to head out to Zurich, um, I'm actually going to be taking this flight in July. Next here we have a United 777-200 heading out to Brussels. Next here we have a United 737-800, this was supposed to be on a 900 but I don't have enough 900 so um, this is heading out to Northern Lakes or Jaden Aviations Airport. Here we have a very heavily requested route, we have a United A320 heading out to Mexico City. Next United 767-300 heading out to Houston, United A320 heading out to Denver, United 737-800 heading out to Las Vegas, United 737-700 he's going to be heading out to St. Martin, United 737-900 heading out to Houston or Zachary Dodovich's airport, another United 737-900 heading out to Nassau or Davis Miller's airport, and finally another United 767-300 he's just arrived in from Sao Paulo and is going to be heading out to Barcelona later on today. Now Barcelona's route is actually operated on a 764, but I don't have any 764 so it's going to have to be on a 763. But that is it for this update. Um, I hope you did enjoy the terminal, the big terminal, the main terminal. I am still working on that. I'm still trying to figure out um, what is the best design to go for and all of that because if you don't know I'm getting it 3D printed and customized. Um, so yeah, thanks for all the subscriber routes. Again, if you're going to uh, comment a subscriber route, please keep it realistic um, to the Dulles routes. Um, that would be very helpful. Thank you very much. And yeah, apart from that, there's not really much to say. I guess that's when I'll see you next. So um, yeah, bye.